I'm going to do two or three jobs a day. I'll charge a uh, hundred bucks an hour plus parts and I can be off by two and I can go fishing and it gives me some fishing and beer money. Right. And right. then that we're not talking to you guys, right? <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. We're talking to the guys who have struck out on their own, really want to have a true business. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 421st episode of Potty Talk. And hey, I, we have a fun one here for you. The, uh-huh. the title of this episode is, is The Surprising Reasons That Make Plumbing Businesses Fail. Ooh. All right. All right. Well. And heating and cooling businesses and electrical businesses and trade right. business. Any, oh, just any trade home business service. in yes. general. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've seen it, you know, time and time again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to go through the reasons here. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and really, they're not, they're not uh, complex reasons, okay? But this is just kind of how we just fall into it. These, right. These reasons, that's, that's the good news. Mm-hmm. So, and easily fixed. Uh, and easily fixed, right. Yes. So that, that's the point we want to get at here. Because right. a lot of times it could be, well, these are scary things and I can't overcome these yeah, kinds these of things. Yeah, these are just overwhelming and there's no way I right. can change that. Not true. Basically, we see these you know, with, with our clients that we work with mm-hmm. that it's just um, once, you know, these are like aha moments. Okay, once I, you know, really? And when I, and I once understand, you make that change. Right, and then mm-hmm. it's all of a sudden things take off. Right. Okay, so that's the good news. Yes. All right? Okay. But these are reasons why you may be struggling, mm-hmm. okay, and ultimately why many trade businesses fail. Yes. Okay? All right, well, surprise so me. It? Surprise me. Okay. What are the right, surprising you're gonna, you're gonna reasons? Follow? Again, I don't want you to copy off my notes. Let's hear. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right? <laughs> you know this stuff. You've uh, seen it time and time again. Uh, no, I just... I just follow your lead. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, number one. Mm -hmm. Number one reason. Okay. A plumber mindset. Mm -hmm. Okay. That uh, that is absolutely number one. A plumber mindset. Now, we could say, you know, a a tradesman mindset. Mm -hmm. And what do we mean by that? Well, there's a difference, you know, it ain't about plumbing. Have you heard me say that before? (laughs) Twice, okay. just two it, times. It ain't about plumbing. So, mm-hmm. you know, we, what happens is, is, you know, we wind up being very good at our trade. Okay. In this case, you know, I'm very good at uh, being a plumber and just, and, and I, you know, I just get it. I'm right. good at it. I'm mm-hmm. a craftsman. Right. I'm very good at it. And mm-hmm. I say, well, instead of making that guy a bunch of money, I'll go out and I'll make all the money myself. I'll, I'll start, start my, my own plumbing business. Right. How hard can that be? <laughs> the problem is, <laughs> it's a little, you know, there, there's some other things that go there, <laughs> uh-huh. but but instead of coming into the business with a business mindset, mm-hmm. or what we call, we start training on having a CEO mindset, a chief executive officer mindset, right. okay, we come in it still thinking like a plumber, mm-hmm. okay, right, and the, the business is not about plumbing. It is not. It's not about the trade. No, nope. and you can't go, because it's two totally different Hats, if you will, a yeah. CEO versus a plumber mindset, right? And it makes sense. Again, like like Richard, like you said, babe, it's um, you you're you're a plumber, you are a plumber, and and you decide you want to strike out on your own and 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 make money for yourself and all that. But yeah, the, your the mindset is still there that I'm a plumber doing plumbing tasks, um, but you know they're for myself, right, or for my company. Um, but if you have that mindset, all you do, if you have a plumber mindset, you just own your job. Right. That's, you don't own a company; you own your job. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And sadly, that's, that's where we see the majority mm-hmm. of trade businesses are. Right. They, they just own their job. Yep. And we're talking to the, the plumbing business owner who wants to have an actual business. We're not talking to someone who is like, okay, I'm going to go out on my own and I'm going to do two or three jobs a day. I'll charge a uh, hundred bucks an hour plus parts and I can be off by two and I can go fishing and it gives me some fishing and beer money. Right. And right. then that we're not talking to you guys, right? <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. We're talking to the guys who have struck out on their own, really want to have a true business to not, especially, most importantly, to serve their family, right? To, to do, um, create a wealthy or an asset for their family. Right. Wealth as far as um, time and money. Um, right. But also to serve the community, also to provide jobs for, for other plumbers, all of that, right? So that's a totally different mindset. So those are the guys that we're talking to. So some examples of, of thinking, you know, having still hold on to that plumber mindset can be a thing of like, um, it's just you're focused on the plumbing mm. instead of the systems that you need to have in place, you know, the business systems. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, that I'm, we're great at plumbing and then, and then still, even on the plumbing side, I like being part, you know, the guys, we're all in this together and, and we're buddies and oh, with the techni- people we, you hire, yeah, the, with techni- the, the technician, mm-hmm. right. And, mm-hmm. and you, you consider yourself a plumber, you know, that, that kind of a thing. That's the worst thing you right. do. Once you start bringing on, um, other, other employees techs, and then you kind of have this camaraderie thing of, you know, like you said, like we're buddies and whatever, 
that that's the death of your of your company. You cannot be buddies. You cannot be buddies with with their technicians. You just can't. You can't go out drinking with them. Now, of course, yes, you can, but that's not a business. That's just you owning your job and you bring along some guys that you can hang out with or whatever. That's that's not a true business. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, what what it just. It, you don't gain the respect and the stuff that you need to be to be a real business Correct. when you, when you got to make real business moves. Right. So if you're getting drunk with your your techs, right, and then all of a sudden one of them screws up multiple times, um, what authority do you have at right. that point? Right. You're just his drinking buddy. You're you're the guy who you know gets drunk on the weekends with me, and we're you know f bombing this and right. blah, 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 blah. There's no authority. So for, if you come to him and say, you know, hey Joe, you really need to step up here. You can't do you know whatever it is, you know this or that. And he's like, Bruh. right. All right. Well, are you gonna bring the beer this weekend, or am I getting it? Right? Exactly. And it's even going to to the so you look at the you look at like the task as a job as opposed to a customer. Mm-hmm. See, that's another key oh, thing. Oh, that's good. Of, you know, I, I got I'm, I'm working on this water. So this is a water heater job mm-hmm. instead of this is uh, my customer who's out of hot water. Right. Two, it's two different thoughts. Mm-hmm. Two, and, and there's a lot that goes around that. Yes. But it has to start, um, you know, at the beginning of that where you got to switch from this isn't a water heater job. Mm-hmm. This is getting my customer back into hot water. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, 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 it, yeah, two, it's a, two different things. It's two totally different hats. Right. And from a CEO mindset standpoint, I mean, it, it, there's, there's things about um, the business that you got to know that you, you didn't, I mean, face it, we didn't, right. I, not, I, every client we've ever had when they started out on their own, they were great plumbers. And now all of a sudden they have a business. They, they don't, they don't know. That's, that's one of the reasons we have potty talk. That's one of the reasons we have the success Academy. Um, and there's nothing wrong with not knowing what's wrong. The only thing that would be wrong is not seeking help or, or seeking ways to improve or right. seeking ways to figure out what does it mean to truly be a CEO of my business. But, but the niche, like now we're into this, you know, we get asked, how'd you get into this? You know, we, we had, a, you know, I've been in the trades for 40 years. This is my 40th year. Mm-hmm. And we, we, um, and so I've been in the plumbing, you know, that long, um, we had our business, you know, um, for 20 years, mm-hmm. about 20 years, you know, sold it, all that kind of stuff. And we thought, thought I was done. Thought we were done with all this, and we well, now we're done with plumbing, plumbing and, plumbers, and plumbers and trades, all, and all the all the stuff, <laughs> and we were just playing, boating, <laughs> and traveling, and doing our thing. But that, quite honestly, like it's boring. But we got pulled, you know, asked, you know, how how'd you do what you did, and that mm-hmm. kind of thing. So now we got into coaching. Yes. So that's how we're here. Long mm-hmm. story short, mm-hmm. and in fact, we love it now. But it's really niched down because we're dealing with plumbers, tradesmen, mm-hmm. okay, right. and this thought. And you could be, again, plumbers, tradesmen who own their own business, okay, that have a business, but they don't realize that, that they have a business because they're mm-hmm. still thinking like a tradesman. Right. And I can see it in, in the comments. <laughs> be honest with you. <laughs> go ahead. From leave show, comments. Go ahead. I, go ahead. I can see in the comments, <laughs> even on the ads, I can tell who the tradesmen still are that have their business mm-hmm. because they say quite, I'm going to say, say, say stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, your hands aren't dirty or you never plumbed right. or you're just, uh, you're, you know, you're ripping people off or what? Yeah, what, I mean, a what, rip, a, what a scam. What a scam. All that Which kind is of, the exact opposite of what, what we're trying to do. Exact it, opposite. It's exact. It's right. right. But mm. well, you can tell there's still off. that I, and I, so I've been, I come from, the, I've come from, I just happen to be a little cleaned up now. You know, I'm, I'm a little older. I cleaned you and up. And you cleaned me up or whatever. <laughs> I come from the ditch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, um, you know, my first plumbing job was actually cleaning the inside of a commercial um, septic tank with all the crap spraying. I'm in okay, the I don't suit. Talk <laughs> okay. So that's where I come from and rough. So I, I get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's, it's, I felt quite frankly, I'm saddened because I can, I know these guys that when they spit out those kinds of comments, mm-hmm. I know exactly where they're at mm-hmm. and I know exactly where you're headed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why we talk and about it's sad for them and their families. Yes. Right. So that's why we talk an awful lot about right. you got to know your why, right? If you if you were a plumber um, and you struck out on your own, started your own business, why did you start your business? What was the purpose of it? Um, once you determine that, and again, like I mentioned earlier, it could be that, you know, I just want to do two or three jobs a day, make a hundred bucks an hour, feel pretty good, and then take the rest of the day off to go fishing or whatever it might be. Okay. That, that's your why. Um, and so that that's different than someone who strikes out on their own. And wants to have a true business, wants to grow a business, wants to to scale a business, wants to have something that um, you can be proud of. All all of those things, right? It's it's totally different. And it can run without you. Exactly. It's just a a money machine. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're working towards. Yes. Mm -hmm. So very important. That's one of the reasons that makes plumbing businesses fail. Mm -hmm. Trade businesses fail is 
you know, thinking like a, a trades, tradesman still, okay? Mm, yep. You got to revert over or capture that CEO mindset, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. Number two, mm -hmm. all right? <laughs> the wrong customer, <laughs> all right? Working for <laughs> the wrong customer. Just a couple of times, guys. All right. All right. <laughs> well, this, again, these things are very simple. The, it's not like it's, you know, you know like it's, um, you know, you got to be a, uh, um, Einstein, this isn't Einstein math, you know, <laughs> you know, into black hole theory is and all that kind of, I mean, whatever that is, <laughs> you know, no these are very in your face, simple things right mm -hmm. there. And we've seen it now for, you know, 40 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just because they call you and they, you know, they need the work done that is your trade in our case, you know, plumbing mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's the right customer for you. And quite True. frankly, we see again, not, not only are, and it's part of that, having that, that, that tradesman mindset, okay, which affects this. Well, it's, uh, I'm, I got to go, you know, if you're a hammer, I got to go hit the nail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and so it's like, um, well, it's, they need plumbing. They plumb, so we, we work in, you know, I got all these jobs mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm working for a general contractor, right. okay? okay. Mm -hmm. You know, building homes, mm -hmm. doing that kind of, I'm doing a million. I, I'm, and of course, we, I hear this all the time. It's like, like I'm doing, I'm building million dollar homes, mm -hmm. you know. I'm building million dollar homes. Okay, well, are you uh, making a million dollars right. off of it? No. Nope. No, you're not. We, right. we know you're probably not even making a profit. I, I want, you know, Maybe to put something in the co in the in the comments if you are working for GCs and you can relate to this, right? That it just it never never fails. You you have to lowball to get the job. Um, you chase your money. You know they give you little drips here and there, um, and then there's always oh can you oh just do this or add on this. No, let's not do an, let's not do a, a change order. Or whatever, just come right. and add this on. Or you get out there all ready to go, and then you find out. I got to wait on whatever other contract or whatever, right. you know, other um, trade, right? right? The HVAC guy didn't get something done. The electrician didn't, the drywall, whatever it might be, right? So you get out there and then, nope, come back another time. We're trying to come back later this afternoon. Like your schedule revolves, is, around, revolves their, around their schedule, right. right? At the same time, you're financing them building their home. Correct. Because you got to pay for all the parts and the labor and all that up front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which yep. is just stupid yes. okay but all right but we all did it we we in, all we all did it including us <laughs> right and one of the reasons is because we still had that that plumber mindset well okay? it's, we're it, looking at it as a business it, it it's felt work. great i got work i got work it felt great that we had right. those houses and you were right. busy it's a bit right you're we really busy we had a helper and and man it was like this is going to be great you're you're just all stacked up with St work and starting i mean starting right out the, the gate right out i got the, with a builder with, you know doing some new stuff down they were re regenerate uh re uh re rejuvenating reju yeah. right downtown indianapolis indianapolis area, area. Mm -hmm. so they tore down all these old homes and i got in with two of the builders like right out <laughs> and you just happened because they saw sucker written all over our faces <laughs> all, and that's exactly <laughs> it that's like, exactly it. That's what you boy, are. That's honey, what they you, see. If we charge, I don't know, maybe 70 bucks an hour, right, right. we'll be rich. And I'm we'll figuring up rich. and you got to give them one price to do the, the rough <laughs> in and all that and figure, you know, and just, but I got the work and mm -hmm. they'll put, you know, money be rolling in and money, I got all their houses. Money be rolling. <laughs> money be rolling. <laughs> <laughs> money be rolling away from us. <laughs> That's right. You know, it's crazy. It's working for the wrong customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we, we all do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we have to work um, for, for the customer that is, of course, values what we value as well, yes. okay, mm -hmm. which is uh, money in the bank, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, that we can get money in the bank today. Yes. All right? And, and what they value is their day back. Correct. Okay, so it's not about the plumbing. It's not about the job, okay? Again, we're back to that example of, you know, I'm working on a water heater, mm -hmm. okay, versus I'm getting Mrs. Jones back in the hot water. Correct. Okay. There's a total difference. Right. Mrs. Joan does not look at that she's getting a new water heater. She right. don't care. She cares that she can give her kids a bath at night without running out of hot water. She cares that she can maybe run the dishwasher and the washing machine at the same time without running out of hot water. That's what she cares about, period. Right. She doesn't go down after you leave and then look at the water heater and go, oh, Aww. that's so beautiful. I'm taking pictures. pictures send it out yeah, on I'm going to post media, it right? out and send it, right. put it on Instagram. On t I'm going to do a TikTok video about it, about my brand new water heater. And I'm going to do a little song and dance about my brand new water heater. That's not happening. Right. That ain't happening. I know we care about plumbing, right? We, we care all about the plumbing. But Mrs. Jones, she just wants hot water in her house again so she can get right. on with her day. Or she just wants air conditioning again or heating again mm -hmm. or wants the, the light switch to work again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. 
or, ju- or just wants the grass cut, whatever right. it is that you do. Yep. Okay, that, that's what it is. So you don't have to okay. worry about it anymore. Okay, so mm-hmm. you want the customers that that's what they want. Yes, those okay. are your customers. And, and we could say, so what, what does that customer look like? You know, they, they value, it's, it's, their, it's their property. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's their, it's their home. It's their thing. So they value it. Right. Unlike, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you have a plumbing business, but even, you know, just residential service, you're dealing with um, a landlord situation, you know, a landlord tenant situation um, in that, you know, get, get the homeowner and they're the landlord and the tenant calls and says, you know, my water heater's out or whatever. Well, what's, what's the number one concern for the home or yeah, the landlord, right? He's making money. He's it, making money. And so getting something in just as cheap as possible um, is, is what they care about. That's also typically not the right customer. Now, there's some landlords out there that you can get a relationship with. They'll pay your price and all those, but it's not their um, immediate concern. Well, that's not the customer you're going to build with. No. You oh, know, gosh, no. You know, so even you may even have, and so the same example with working for a GC, building their homes. It's not their home. If they don't care. They're, they're wanting to get Bottom the plumbing dollar. by anything as cheaply as possible. I've known this guy for since second grade, and no, they're about quality. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. Okay? <laughs> they're about getting as much for Profit. nothing yes. right, mm-hmm. as possible. Yes. Okay? Because mm-hmm. they are thinking like businessmen. Mm-hmm. Okay? In fact, they're kind of forced to because that's how that model works. Right. But okay? more than likely, that, that GC is... Um, Borrowing from the next house. Yes. Right. Well, they get in that because they're mm-hmm. bad businessmen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. So you want someone that's, that's there. It's their house. That's why I even working, doing commercial. I got all the Walmarts. I got the district Walmarts where I'm fixing their urinals and opening whatever. I got the whole, all the Walmarts. You're still, it, it, it's still about getting it done as cheaply as possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. So typically they right. will not pay your true hourly rate when right. you really need to, to charge for your business. Right. Mm-hmm. So you want, and, and they don't value, again, it's not their time. They don't, it's not about getting their day back. Mm-hmm. Their, their, their job is to get it for cheap, just get you in there. Somebody in there to get it done for as cheaply as possible. Right, because they've, they've got their you know store P&L or whatever, and they have to answer um, to, to corporate or, or regional director or whoever it might be, right? Right, but it, that, that, that can feel very comforting, though. I have all the Walmarts. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm working for a GC, and, and I, get, I get all their work. Mm-hmm. And so that's, the again, we're back to that, that, that tradesman mindset of I got work. The work is not security, nope. okay? Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. It's the right kind of customer, Got all right? The right customer. And get money in the bank today, mm-hmm. all right, which is the security. Which is another thing. Make sure if you do work today, you collect today, Right. period. And again, that, the right customer pays you today, right? Which we all we, we always talk and talk about this. It's, it's residential service, mm-hmm. no matter what you're in. It's working, and it's because there's lots of customers. A lot there's lots of customers. Yep. Well, lots I got, but I got all the houses. No, you got you got yeah, one builder. Yeah, if you've got one builder, right, right. and lots of houses, you one still have one customer. One, yeah, one relationship. <laughs> one okay. Who some well, another plumbing company could come along and under undercut you. Oh, and, I could go into wherever you're at. <laughs> I could walk in there and take all your work if you're doing. <laughs> Easily. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And so, right. And so you got, you want lots of customers and that they just want their day back and yep. the time it's theirs. All right. Mm-hmm. So that's the, that's the right customer. The right customer. Okay. Is residential service. Oh. All right. Okay. So hey, what else? Let me take, let's take a little break here. Oh. I got something for you. Okay. Okay. I always have something special. All right. Something <laughs> free. All right. Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, where I lay out the exact mile markers you gotta hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high-octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're gonna wanna buckle up because my roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So, click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, and let's roll. Okay, how about that? Huh? All right. Did you, gra- <laughs> did you grab it? It's free. Surely you did. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, we're talking about the surprising reasons that make plumbing businesses fail. Yeah. So mm-hmm. also, um, if you're watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and a like and hit the little subscribe button so you never miss an episode um, when we um, drop the episodes. Um, yeah. Make sure, you, make sure you do that. Also, um, I know um, last 
last um, episode, we announced on the new addition to the Million Dollar Plumber Potty Talk family. Right? Okay, or the yeah the MDP video, MDP TV. MDP TV. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yes, right. with the Coach's That'd Corner. Part, yes. Yeah, super excited about the new podcast, um, Coach's Corner. A couple of, of MDP certified coaches having their own podcast called the Coach's Corner. Matt Baldwin and, and Tony Wally. Great. Um, I, I know it's going to be amazing because these these guys are just um, they're fun, they're smart. They've been they've been through everything that we've talked about, right? They've and also they've been through the academy, kind of struggling, and then. Went through the academy, got um, got private coaching, and their business. They're now multi million dollar plumbing businesses that, that run themselves, and they're living a freedom lifestyle. So now they, they want to give back to to the community, yep. right? So um, we, they're just they're just good good guys and cool cats. Yeah. You know I, that's what I mean. They're, they're, cool. they're cooler than I am. I mean Man, I, I'm just some old guy. <laughs> I, you know whatever. Okay, okay, we're not. But these guys are actually you know still in it. They're still okay? yeah. They still and they're and they're fun. Business. You know once yeah. New Jersey. Jersey cat, and we got the Mobile, Alabama cat. Mobile, Alabama. You know, and they're just, they've, they're not, they're, they've become, you know, best of buds. Yeah. And uh, just to hear them go at it, they're yeah. fun. So you check know. it out. It's called Coach's Corner, and it mm-hmm. is um, within our, um, within um, YouTube. There's just a separate playlist, but you can find it there. And then also on all the podcasts, it, it'll just appear next to um, Potty Talk yep. as well. So check Coach's that out. Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner. And also, while you're um, scrolling through and, 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 you know, Apple Podcasts or whatever it might be, um, give us a review. You guys all know how reviews work and the importance of them. So give us a Help review. Let's get the word out. If you okay? love us. If you got something good to say, we mm-hmm. want to hear it. If you don't. We don't want to hear it. it. Just shut up. <laughs> no, <laughs> Keep no, it to no, yourself. No. All right. If you're not quite sure, you know, we're not asking you to lie, but you know, if you do like it, it's okay to embellish a little bit. Sure. All right. Yeah, stretch. All right. Yeah. Stretch. Not, not asking you to lie. We're amazing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. All right. The surprising things. What's in, uh, the third surprising thing um, that, what is it? That surprising reasons that make plumbing businesses fail all right there we go and, and we've been been talking around it mm-hmm. okay okay but, but here it is mm-hmm. don't know business they don't know the business okay the you business. don't know business mm-hmm. and because you weren't taught the business mm-hmm. okay you were taught how to be very good at your trade mm-hmm. okay how to be a craftsman okay that that's what that's what we were taught right okay we, we, we never were taught business in any way we weren't taught when we go to school we weren't taught you know when we're you know, in our apprentice stage and, you know, our work, we're just not, we're not, not taught business. We're taught the trade. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so we get into something. It's like, what makes you think that you could just all of a sudden just plumb a house and you've never even touched plumbing? Mm-hmm. What makes you think you can do that? You, 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 of course not. You right. wouldn't even think that way. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's exactly what we do when we start a, we start a business. We think, well, well you know, we just. I'm, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to pass out pri- some flyers and. Right. You know, figuring out, you know, my, my company, last company I was with, charged blah, blah, blah oh. an hour, you know, 200 bucks an hour or whatever it might be. I'm going to I'll just charge 150 for based on nothing. Nothing. <laughs> based on no, no and rational we all, reason. And we, we did we it. We all did it. And sadly, most everyone else does it too. That's why. Because we don't know. Right. Well, 95% of all tra- trade businesses fail, okay, within the first three years. Yep. Right. Um, and, you know. It's, so if you don't know business, don't think, okay, I need to go to um, go you know, night, co- night school or something no. and get a, a business degree. No, because by the, if you did that, by the time you got out, everything that you learned is obsolete because business changes so fast, right. changes so fast. Now, there are certain concepts and things, right? Again, you don't need business for it. You just, there's the internet. Learning those things are not that hard, but you've got to have the mindset of, I have a business and I need to learn the business side of this. If you don't, again, you just own your job. Right. And, and again, sadly, um, 97% of those that, that do make it past that three year period are just living. They basically own their job. Struggling. They're living paycheck to paycheck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Week to week. Yep. Okay. They, 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 you know, you can have a nice house in the suburbs. You got yourself, you know, you got the family minivan, and you maybe have a motorcycle and you got a bass boat and that kind of stuff, but it, you don't have a bit, you don't, you just, mm. you just, you're just taking that money. Right. You just okay. own your job as opposed okay. you to building an asset. Right. Mm. That, that can run on its own, which is a business. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That eventually that, that you can look to sell. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you know, for real money. Right. All right. What are some key business things you think? And I'm throwing the throwing this to you, some key business things that they do, that plumbers do need to know, or tradesmen, whatever, when they start their business, that they need to know pretty much right away on how to do this as far as business. Well, one, one of the things right off the bat 
is knowing what their what they, their hourly rate is. Yes. And, you know, we, we call it your honest hourly rate. Mm-hmm. I, I, I call say I call it yes, your, you honest, like mm-hmm. your honest hourly rate mm-hmm. because, of, you know, you're, ba- you're, you're stealing from your customers when you don't know why you're charging what you're charging. Mm-hmm. And I'll say that again. Mm-hmm. You're stealing from your customers when you don't know why you're charging what you're charging. Can I add on something Very, to that? Yes. Uh, and you're hurting your family. Yes. You're hurting your you're, family. Um, if you don't know why, what you're charging and why you're charging it, right? You're, you're hurting your family right. more than likely. You're, you're not, not more than likely you're not charging enough. You're just not, right. we know that. So yeah, that's certainly one thing. Um, knowing, um, you know, a business thing you need to learn right away why you charge what you charge. Right. Then that leads to the, n- the next thing. Um, you know, once you have an hourly rate then then the structure, you know, your price book mm-hmm. and, and, and that, that whole system of, you know, and how, how you offer to the customer. Right. Okay. There, there is a, a process there, a, a business process mm-hmm. in, in the foundation of, you know, the systems that you must have in place to be able to do that yep. so that you can scale. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. We just had um, one of our employees um, just had a plumber out to, to their house and, um, and she obviously, you know, works, one of our works for MVP. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's, she's a key employee. Um, and she had a plumber out to the house and she thought, well, this, this is ironic, right? This is the first time since I've started working, you know, here that I've had a plumber out. So she was really interested to see how it was going to go. And um, he didn't give her any price up front. What was it for? Tub and shower valve. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, no prices up front. He just came in, just started doing the work. And she said the whole time I'm sweating bullets thinking, how much is this going to cost me? Right. And so he, he gets done and he just hand writes out on like um, an office depot form, you mm-hmm. know, a three part form or whatever. Yep horrible writing. She said she couldn't even read it. And I don't remember what the bill was. It, it, it was, of course, more than what she thought it was going to be, right? But there were no options. There was nothing. There was nothing. Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. A personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. Learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash applicant pro. Um, and then he you know, said, okay, well, then I think she had to pay check. I'd give a check. I mean, there was no system at all. Um, and so, right, but we see this all the time. Right. We see that's, that's not a business guys. It's not a business when you present that to the customer and she felt ripped off, right? Because again, she didn't know how much it was going to be and the price seemed ridiculous. So if you're not get, providing options, it's always going to seem ridiculous. It always. could be 50 bucks and it could be ridiculous because yes. no one wakes up in the morning, wants to call a plumber, mm-hmm. which leads to the next thing. No one wants to spend money on no. plumbing. No one. Yes. Yeah. So right. if she wasn't given options, there was no way to compare what those prices, um, what that price was, right? So we talk all the time, price perspective, giving the customer options so they can see exactly what's wrong tell them what what the exact problem is and what the cost is for that give them another option on you know repairing it um or or upgrading the repair right and then last or to replace the whole thing and then you got price perspective if you see some you know a higher price for the third option all of a sudden the first option doesn't seem as expensive it's that it's that simple And, and she knew that just from you know being around it um she was surprised um because she she just thinks well all plumbers you know do the things like MDP, MDP teaches? Nope. Nope. <laughs> they do not. No, they don't. And that's, that's why we're here. Mm-hmm. You know, our, our heart, we don't have, you know, I, I, the comments on our ads or whatever, you're just, you're just stealing or you're just, you're, the you're scam. just, you're, you're just a scam, scam and all that. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I know I, I'm talking to a plumber or some, you oh. know, some guy lives in his mother's basement and whatever. <laughs> okay. With his family, right? <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll go there. And I, I come from there, so I, I know, you know, mm-hmm. sadly, in the trades, there's a reason why, you know, there's, um, you know, certain perspectives about tradesmen and that kind of stuff, because a lot of it's true. Okay? And we're trying to improve that, okay, right. improve that, be but professional. Our hearts are here for those that, that are raising their hand. I, I know I don't know something. I want more, but I don't, I don't know something. Mm-hmm. That's why Potty Talk is here, which yes. also leads to why we have the Success Academy. Yes. Where we teach the business. 
of plumbing. We Correct. teach the business of heating and cooling. Mm-hmm. We teach the business, right. okay, of electrical, of you know, your trades, company, or mm-hmm. whatever. It's all it business all, part of it. You know, it's We the, never right. talk plumbing never. In, in the Success Academy or whatever. We don't we don't talk the mechanics of the trade. We don't right. talk. It is teaching the business side of it. It's what we did know. It's, it's something that we wish we would have had when we started our business. Right. We so wish we wouldn't have struggled for the number of years that we struggled, and we struggled for quite some time because we didn't know. We, right. we had no idea. First four or five years until I got to so I came out of myself and, and let my pride and ego down. I was already the best plumber and I can do it. Look, if you're here, I know who I'm talking to you, man. I, I know who I'm talking because you're like, I got it. I mean, I, you know, I can go out in the wilderness and kill a bear with my bare teeth. And I, <laughs> I mean, I, I get, I get who you are and you're it. Okay. You're, you know, you're the, you're the bomb. Right. We'll you're the bomb. That. Okay. Thank we'll put it that way. That okay. And mm-hmm. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. And that's great. You need that. You need that attitude also for starting a business, Mm -hmm. but it has to also mature to realize I don't know something. Mm -hmm. And so about the fourth or fifth year, I realized I didn't know something. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I thought, well, what can I learn? I I can't, I'm not going to go to school. By by the way, to to go to business school, to learn business, Mm -hmm. you know, I'll use air quotes here, business, you know, average cost you right over a hundred thousand dollars now for, to learn business. You don't need to, and and you got to go to school. I mean, it's just the way, I mean, you don't need to do right. Mm -hmm. And so where else could I learn? Well, I got, I got with a group. CEO group. Mm-hmm. See, I realized I, you know, I'm a great plumber, mm-hmm. but I, I'm not a businessman. I need to learn how to think like a businessman. So I got with the CEO group and that's where I met uh, Mitch, mm-hmm. this old Jewish guy. He was a CFO, chief financial officer for Mayflower Trucking, mm-hmm. you know, and he taught you business. And he, he taught, taught me, the- right. So here's this old, you know, this old Jewish guy and I'm, I'm this young punk. You know, redneck punk, you know, but we became friends and I mm-hmm. begged him to teach me business. Mm-hmm. And so that's when I learned some of these initial concepts, mm-hmm. you know, like a business concept you got to learn is you're selling time, right. not selling plumbing. Mm-hmm. So it's that kind of, that, those kinds of things right. and how to, how to then determine what my hourly rate should be right. and what the, what all involves and all that and the right mm-hmm. kind of marketing, what it, you know, you just don't just throw this stuff out there no. and, and what it means to attract customers and attract mm-hmm. help, mm-hmm. you know, and all that, all that kind of, all, all that kind all of that. stuff. Mm-hmm. And so we teach all that now in the academy. We use that. Yes. And so, oh, you're just trying to sell me something. No, I, if you think I'm trying to sell you something, you go stay over there. <laughs> don't buy okay. it. Don't, don't buy it. <laughs> right. Okay. But if, if you have awareness, self-awareness mm-hmm. and, and understand that there's something that you don't know, then the success academy is for you. Mm-hmm. And in fact, we have a 14 day free trial, mm-hmm. which hooks you. <laughs> do that cause we get, You'll cause, never cause do I want to make, I want to make it easy for you to say, okay, when you see what's there, cause I, I get it, you know, skeptical, all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you know, but we've seen it time and time and time and time again. It, it, it's, it's what made, made us, how we able to go from the kitchen table mm-hmm. to, to, to the penthouse. Right. I mean, literally, I mean, and we, we now see with our clients, we have clients now that have, you know, sold their businesses. We just had one. And nope, I, we're not doing it. Nope. We can't give that away. Three years ago was nothing. <laughs> and just, I mean, Yes. And it's just, it, I mean, I know because it's not. We cannot. Okay. No. I right. know you ain't doing that. But I'm so, I'm so. But it's getting ready to sell his business right, for a lot of money. Right. I'm we'll so excited for them. Yes. You know, so, and, and yes. for the ones that others that do it. And not to mention the ones that are in there now and, you know, it was them in a truck and now they're out of the truck and they're running multi-million dollar, you know, organizations mm-hmm. and living and living the freedom lifestyle. Just like we mentioned with our, our coaches corners, mm-hmm. now, they're, now they're doing a podcast yeah, and mm-hmm. trying to teach you. I mean, yes. and they're also coaches with MDP now, Correct. you know, giving back get, and giving back. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's there, you know, you have no excuse not to learn business. Mm-hmm. And, and the good news is, is these concepts are simple. Not necessarily easy because you have to put them in play. You got to be willing to stretch your mind. Mm-hmm. But just like I mentioned, you know, the right, the right customer. There is a wrong customer. Well, there's plumbing to be done. I, I, I can get paid for it. It's mm-hmm. being able to understand that just that money is not as good as the money that's right. over here. And using some common sense. Right. Too. And, and you can make more money over yes. here with less effort, mm-hmm. you know, less time. And then you can multiply that. I mean, more it, money with less time. That's right. always the best. Okay. Yes. And getting the money in the bank. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Got to know business. You do. All right. And so well, I guess I guess I just kind of threw out there to the Success Academy. You did. It leads mm-hmm. to to that because that's what that is all about. Mm-hmm. And and if you are in the right mindset and you're ready, or you, you know you've been you've been struggling and you're tired of struggling, or and again we have them in the academy that they're, they're, they're just starting their business mm-hmm. to guys that have been in business for 20 years and they've done all the new construction. They got you know one of our guys has gone through it and is now a coach for us. Mm-hmm. You know had been in it for years. And a new construction business had 26 trucks and all that, mm-hmm. but was just turning money. wasn't make creating he never, wealth. Never, never made, he never made money. He never made right. Mm-hmm. Now they had the house, they would trap house. I had all, all the trappings. You could mm-hmm. say, 
but they're not making money. Right. They're just turning money over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, so if, if you're in that mindset where something just isn't working, mm -hmm. then you're ready to check out the success Academy sure. and, and you can. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, we have a 14 day free trial. We even have where you can talk to somebody. Yes, I mean, you you're do. not ready. You don't, you know, I just want to talk to a real person mm -hmm. and, and see, you know, what this is really all about. Look, and there's no hard, I don't have to sell you. I'm not here to hard push you. I'm here for if you're ready. Help okay. us help, help you. you. Right. You know, and again, you got to be like where my state of mind was when I, my fourth or fifth year in when I finally realized, I, you know, I'm, I lo lowered my ego and my pride. I'm going to ask for help from someone because right. I, I don't know something. Right. And I want to make this work. And I, make I this, want to make this work. Right. More than just a job. Right. Okay. Yes. So if that's you, go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash success. To learn more. Yeah. Okay. All right. Surprise. Surprising reasons. Most plumbing businesses fail. All right. All right. These are easy ones. Yep. All right. Your Having plumber a plumber mindset. mindset. Oh, go, right. ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. You know, the wrong customer <laughs> and don't Thanks. know business. Okay. And you can turn. Those are simple things just to, just to turn. Yep. Okay. Okay. All and right. watch potty talk. That was the other thing. And they don't watch potty talk. That should be number four. Surprising okay. reasons. Most, that's the bonus. That's right. the bonus that don't they watch. don't watch potty talk and they fail. <laughs> okay. That's right. Time. Watch and listen to potty talk <laughs> and add now coach's corner <gasps> and coach's that. corner. Yes. So okay. there's five reasons. So five surprising reasons. Well, there's two bonuses there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, we give. We're not scams. Right. We give. We're so giving. <laughs> All right, gang. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye.